Soya Majesty, Oba, Maru de Nadelani, Oluwa Fumila de Adeni, Oke de Fost, the Adebajo of Udubajo, Mojoda, Eredu, Ekbe, as a local government, the Lost State. The last one year has been of a mixed feelings. It has been of a joy, happiness, and pleasure. It has also been a period of challenges, uh, endurance, and a lot of crisis management. In every community, there are peculiarities. Uh, but uh, developing communities like ours uh, is known, is always known for one particular problem, which is the problem of uh, land disputes. We have a lot of challenges on land disputes. Uh, since my inception, I've tried as much as possible to see how we can resolve this crisis, most especially those that are in court, and probably see how we can settle them out of court. But it is not easy. Because uh, uh, the, this area is now exposed and is developing. There's a lot of pressure. Land speculators are here. Land grabbers are always here. And the indigenous have seen it as an opportunity to make money. So it makes it very, very difficult. But thank God we are getting there little by little. Because by now we have been able to resolve within ourselves. Nobody should bring in uh, land grabbers. Whatever the situation is, we will resolve within ourselves. And which whoever one is not resolvable, they have to take it to court. And I think that is where we are. But I know gradually we will also get there where we will draw all those cases out of court. Because we are making a lot of uh, positive effort in that respect. That's one. Two, like just like I said, because of the developing nature of this area too, we also have a uh, problem of vandals. Most of the new sites that have been developed, people go there to vandalize aluminium to, uh, to dust that they are using for their uh, construction, vandalize, uh, uh, what do you call it, ball uh, machines and so on and so forth. And a lot of other things like that. We have that challenge too. But with uh, how to thank uh, the chairman of the Radio SCD, who has taken it upon himself to set up uh, a local vigilante known as the ESF. To complement the former move on the half of land and also complement the effort of the security forces. Within our sales in Uruguay, we are also contemplating on setting up uh, a local vigilante to monitor within the community. I think with all this effort, we also overcome that. Finally, the issue of courtism. We know that it's a global phenomenon and we are not left out. But I thank God. Since I came, I call all of them. Whether you belong or you do not belong, I don't want to hear it in my community. Anybody I hear or, uh, or I discover that is trying to promote courtism, they know me very well. I will personally arrest that person and hand him over to this court. And I thank God till now we have been working together. There is harmony among our youths. But first and foremost, uh, let me first of all thank the Lagos State Government, most especially the Governor of the Lagos State, Mr. Babaji Lubishala Sonwolu, for his uh, developmental efforts in this area. Also thank uh, our leader in this area, who happens to be the Deputy Governor of the Lagos State too, Dr. Bafemi Amzat. The two of them have been doing wonderfully well. Uh, they've been bringing a lot of developmental projects to our area. And I think that is even one of the reasons why there is crisis. Where there is a rush for our lands, everybody wants to move here because this is the new hope of development in the rest. I want to thank him very much for that. I also want to thank him for uh, installing us last year. Gave us the staff of office within a very short period. I thank him for all his support. But I have a very big message. I want to ask for more. And this one I want to ask for is not about selfishness. It's not uh, peculiar to me, but peculiar to all Yorubas, not only in Yoruba land, but in Nigeria. We need to be given a place within the constitution. We have a lot of responsibility, but need to authority. So we are begging the Lagos State government to take the lead. Like we have always been taking the lead in many uh, perspectives and many uh, issues. They should also take the lead in this one. Let the traditional leaders have a place in government. 
Hey, I'm the recognized. They are the they are the a law that will strengthen the traditional institutions. We are the closest to the people, and uh, by the by nature of our responsibility, we are supposed to be on ground with the people, no matter what happens. So, and we are there two four seven. We are not like politicians who will go after a while, maybe after their tenure, we may not even see them again. But the, the traditional institutions stay and live among the people, and we know the problem of our people. But because we have uh, uh, limited uh, resources as well as authority to confront those challenges, it has not been in the community. And the only way the government can secure uh, the society better is to engage the traditional elders. That is what they call community policing. I gave an example the last time that uh, some of them are with me trying to ask me about uh, the role of traditional institutions. When we recruit within our community and we do not have an input, you don't know our people more than us. They said people should apply for police job, custom job, and so on and so forth online. People are, are apply online, but that does not indicate who they are. But if you involve the traditional law, before you employ anybody, we will tell you the kind of person he is, or uh, the kind of family he comes from, or the household he comes from. And that would determine uh, what kind of character we expect him to display when he gets to those positions. A lot of things are there that the traditional students can do in trying to help the government in resolving a lot of crises in the government.